This video tutorial is going to help you be able to calculate your cumulative average across multiple benchmark assessments for a number of class periods. What you're going to need is first you're going to need a complete set of all of your scores from your benchmark or periodic assessment results for all of your classes um, as well as for all the tests that you've given. So if you've only given one of those type of assessments, you only need that one set of scores. If you've given two, then you need both of those. So a good rule of thumb while we're working with this spreadsheet is to know that you can only type in things that are part of the green cells. Anything that is blue has formulas in it, so that's actually going to erase the formulas and we don't want to do that. Because this is only for periodic assessments, um, we don't necessarily need this portion here that's on unit test results. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight from column E over to L, right click and then click on hide to just hide those cells. So those are still there, but they're just um, hidden away. So we can just focus on the periodic assessment results. The first thing we're going to do is to enter in the information about each of your classes. That includes the class subject, the period, and the number of students in each of those classes. And so let's say you teach life science for period one, and you have 27 students in that class. Next, you teach physical science for period two, and you have 30 students in that class. Let's say that you have a conference period for period three, so your next class is actually physical science for period four, and you have 29 students in that class. You have life science for period five, and you have 31 students in that class. And lastly, physical science for period six, and you have 30 students in that class. Whatever is your class background, you should enter it in those fields. This Excel is only made to enter in five classes, so if you teach more than five classes, let me know, and I can give you an, a um, longer spreadsheet. Okay, so what we're going to do now is enter in each class's average for each of um, the benchmarks. And so let's start for the very first benchmark under PA um, benchmark one results. We're going to enter in each of the class averages. So let's just say that they have here 60%, 59%, 61%, 60%, and 59.8%, okay? Once you enter in all of the averages for the one periodic assessment, you will see in this box right here that's labeled Total Benchmark Mastery, it'll tell you what the average mastery is across all of those classes on the, on the benchmark assessment. So for the very first benchmark assessment, you scored a 59.95% for all of the classes. And so that means that currently you would be within reach since you're just below your 60% goal. Also to note here is that um, this Excel does consider the number of students in each class and weighs that average a little bit more heavily than another class. And so you can see here that physical, sorry, that life science period five, which has 31 students, is considered a higher percentage of the overall just because there are more students. Um, so that is how it considers in the students' scores. All right, let's enter in the second set of benchmark or periodic assessment results. So let's say you had in the 61%, 60.4%, 62%, 59.5%, and then a 60%. Okay. Once you finish entering all of the scores for the second benchmark assessment, you'll see that the average does change, and this is representative of the average across both of the benchmark assessments that have been entered in so far. You'll also see here under average, each class's average over those two assessments. So let's say that you've only given two, and so you want to know what does that mean for the last benchmark assessment that you have to give? What does that mean for your students' mastery? And so Let's say that you have a 60.25% towards your goal, and your goal that you need to beat is 60%, which you are right now. That means you're on track towards your big goal. So this is going to actually allow you to calculate what is the average for the next assessment that you need to be able to score at or above in order to keep track to that. So here you're going to enter in the total number of periodic assessments or benchmark for the year. Typically, there are three or four, and so I'm just going to enter in three here. Let's say I have three benchmarks for the entire year. Next, I'm going to enter in the number of periodic or benchmarks that I've completed, which is two. And then I'm going to enter in the number that are remaining, which is one. 
Once I put that in, Excel is going to figure out what then would the minimum average need to be on the next assessment in order for me to reach my goal. And so for this, I would need to have a minimum of 59.49% on the third and last benchmark in order to maintain um, my progress towards my big goal of 60%. Let's say you teach physical science in LAUSD, and so your goal is actually 63%. So if you put 63% in here, it will calculate for your goal. And so you can see that your current average is the same as 60%, 60.25%. But because your goal is higher, that means you actually need to make up a bigger um, distance to that goal. And so your last periodic assessment would be a 68.49%. And so depending upon your calendar for your benchmark assessments, how many you've given and how many you have remaining, this will allow you to know what distance you are to reaching your goal for the remaining assessments, as well as where you currently are right now on the assessments you have given.